This is the best way to utilize the new character Harper. Let's talk about it. What's good YouTube Nugget here? Come with you today with a Harper guide video. So guys, this is going to be a little bit early on my side of things. One, because I don't have Harper maxed out and two, because Charlotte has not released and that is her twin or sister or whatever the case they might call her. But guys, we're going to give you guys the basic Harper breakdown, artifacts you need to use and how to even use her and play with her. So before you get into any of that, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. As always, subscribe, turn on post notices, all of the good stuff. Now let's talk the newest SSR character Harper and she is from England she's a rank female and 16 years of age and it says special note her hot-headed younger sister and a member of the helper strike squad she's the muscle in every prank the sisters pull and the SSR exclusive weapon mischievous increases the user's HP at advancement 5 this one is going to increase the HP by 12% and her exclusive weapon is going to activate when the user uses their ultimate skill it increases their team members dark damage by 12 percent for 30 seconds so this is actually pretty pretty cool and pretty good this is very nice for the other dark hunters currently in the game think Limte, think lee bora using harper with them kind of now makes them a little bit better especially their ultimate skills because lee bora ultimate skill that one hits almost like a truck we're talking the dark charm meg if we look at this all the way maxed out this one is doing 4900 damage almost a thousand but 4900 damage now that gets increased a bunch and guys that's just probably pretty broken and we don't even have charlotte in the game currently so that's just somewhere to start now let's talk advancements and basic skills and things like that first i kind of want to preview all these skills because it is kind of a little interesting this is her actual basic skill one or basic attack one that literally is pretty fascinating and then her core attack a little bit different as well this one's going to paralyze the target and also do medium break damage her basic skill one this one's called a hammer drift she draws a circle riding her hammer and charges into attack this one's also going to do medium break damage and then her basic skill two the tenderizer is actually a hold down skill so you guys want to hold this skill down as much as you can and this one also deals almighty break damage and that one's just pretty broken i cannot lie this is also going to do the pork chop effect each and every time the hammer hits the target so that's why you want to hold it down because you can stack it up to 12 times in about probably two skill uses i believe but anyway guys that's probably going to be the most important skill the basic skill too definitely harper's most important skill to note and if we're not talking any of the basic skills or attacks then it's going to be the ultimate so harper's meal near this one she jumps into the air and throws her hammer powerfully to attack this one's going to do 2100 damage at advancement or not advancement but level 7 at level 10 you're looking at 2400 and i do have to note that adv at advancement 3 her ultimate does change so it changes from Harper's Millionaire to Harper and Charlotte's Millionaire. The ultimate skill damage increases by 70% and things like that. Uh, we didn't even talk her regular passives. So, like I said, guys, be sure to look for a Harlot and, or not Harlot, Harper and Charlotte video. But we want to get you guys the basic know how on how to play with Sharper a little bit early on. Now, let's go back to the passives. We're talking her advancement zero. At the start of the battle, Super Magic Booster effect is activated. And what this one does when she uses Hammer Drift, it's going to increase her critical hit rate and damage by 5%. And this will stack up to four times over the entire match. So, each and every time, if you use this four times, now you have a permanent 20% increase to your crit rate and damage. So keep that in mind when you are utilizing Hammer Drift. And then when she does use Hammer Drift as well, it's going to activate London Drift. And this one is going to increase the damage dealt by 20%. So starting off, when you get into a battle, just go ahead and use Hammer Drift pretty much straight away. And then let's talk advancement one. A shield is granted to the user equal to 50% of their health when using the tenderizer. And then remember, the tenderizer is that basic skill too. Going back though, the max number of hits for the tenderizer increases by four and the skill damage increases by 120%. So now they're boosting the damage you can do with the tenderizer while also giving you more hits within the tenderizer itself which is pretty cool very nice very dandy advancement to the break effectiveness increases by 20 percent actually pretty cool advancement too and then like i said guys we don't have it unlocked yet but look forward to the summoning session probably on the same day this video will go out the same day i do plan to summon for harper some more so definitely check out that stream later on in the day but her advancement three when using hammer drift the user instantly attacks enemies within a five meter range and that's going to be pretty interesting to see i will unlock that advancement three and show that on stream but i'm not sure if even that's like an aoe type of thing think black hole from like the commander such or something like that if we go back 
Harper Millionaire is going to be changed to Harper and Charlotte's Millionaire. Like I said, we already read that. The ultimate skill is going to increase by 70%. And then the London Drift effect will now do 60% damage increase, which is just pretty broken. I can't lie. And then an advancement for all team members defense and HP increases by 8%. And I'll be honest, advancement four, that's pretty cool for an advancement four. The other advancement four that that kind of reminds me of is Hansi Mays. And with hers at Yo, advancement four, it increases the entire team members win damage by 10%, which kind of makes advancement four almost viable. But if you have advancement Yo, four, you might as well go for advancement five because that's where it just gets all just crazy. So. Advancement 5, Pork Chop is enhanced. Super Magic Booster becomes Twin Super Magic Booster. So now the newest effect on Pork Chop is now ultimate skill damage taken from Dark Hunters increased by 2%, stacks up to 16 times. So you're looking at a max of 32% increase to your ultimate skill damage on your Dark Hunters. Guys, that's just pretty broken. So make sure you're spamming that Pork Chop to go if you do have an Advancement 5 at the very least. And then a twin is super magic booster. When the user uses hammer drift, it increases their critical hit rate and damage by 6% stacks up to seven times. So now it maxed out, you're looking at a 42% max increase to your critical hit rate and critical hit damage when you use twin super magic booster up to seven times. So guys, honestly, this is pretty broken. For a breaker character, I didn't imagine they would do something like this. I don't know what's into the devs right now, but Harper is pretty broken. Like I said, she even gets an advancement or zero skill with Almighty Break. And if you remember, the boy Gogan, he, he doesn't get anything Almighty Break worthy until advancement three. So it's pretty interesting to see a Dark Lolly unoriginal Manwa character gets almighty break pretty much out the gate but what do you guys think of the newest character harper we cannot forget the artifacts you want to use to build harper as well this is going to be a eight piece burning greed set i personally recommend this at least to boot this is going to be a good initial set like i said guys look forward to the charlotte and harper guide video because once you have half the piece you guys really can't say a little bit too much but starting off we are going to rock that eight piece burning greed set because I feel like that is probably one of the better sets to rock probably right now as it currently stands. Again, make sure when you're building Harper that you get her as much HP as possible. Right now, we have her at a cool little 30K HP, which it's not the greatest. I wanna aim for around 35K, maybe to 40K, so she can do a lot more damage. Be maybe like a breaker DPS. Think Saul, think Emma Laurent, think Gogan He even. But that also will factor in with how high leveled her weapon is. So once we get that all the way to level 100, once we get her growth a little bit more, once we get some more advancements, level her up, get even better artifacts, she should be at a way, way, way higher HP. And she should be doing some nasty, nasty work for the boy. And then if you do not like or prefer Burning Greed, you can try. And then here's what I would probably recommend is that you try to run her as kind of like a support character so think something like eight piece burning blessing you can't go wrong with this because like i said harper's ultimate kind of will get the ball rolling so you can use eight piece burning blessing you can even use four piece burning blessing and then pair that with one of my favorite sets in the game currently and that is going to be the paradox set out of sylph's blessings i'm a big fan of this on support characters right now so go ahead and try a paradox set pair that with the um burning blessing set and then you can even try using a guardian or palace set if you guys do have harper at advancement one but with that in mind what do you guys think of the newest character harper make sure when you guys are playing with harper use the basic skill one pretty much out the gate hold that basic skill two as much as possible and then go to town that's pretty much all you got to do the core attack will do paralysis to the target so make sure you factor in that core attack into your lineup but with that I am out. Y'all take care. Peace.